Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm in the uh, kind of makeup room and yeah, I thought I'd uh, bring you something a bit different. So, um, excuse my hair, I thought I'd try something a bit different, like a loose chignon, as they say. My hair's getting really long. I don't know whether you've noticed it in the videos and like that's quite a lot of hair really to be up in that chignon. Um, and I put a little sunflower in as you can see. So, um, yeah, today is a collab video and um, it is a get ready with me sort of thing. It's actually more of a, this is the palette we've got and this is what we're using. So I am collabing with Vicky from um, Curly Whirly Girly and she and I collabs and we used, uh, we did two different looks using um, the Iconic Pro 2. We've got a lot of palettes that are the same. So this time we thought we'd do something really, really special. I've said that and now I'm missing something. Oh, I wonder where it is. Just bear with me. Don't worry, I found it. So, um, yeah, we are using the Unicorns, uh, Mermaid vs Unicorn palette. It's a redemption palette, it's four pounds from Makeup Revolution and she's going to be doing the mermaid side and I am going to be using the unicorn side which is these lovely blues and purples here. I'm so excited to use these because I really like the colours and I haven't done anything with these yet actually. I haven't really done an eye look. I've used these two purples which let me just do a swatch for you because they are stunning. Just look at those. Um, that one's more pink, that one's very much purple, it was just a light swatch. Um, I love them, I just really love them and um, there's a really gorgeous sort of indigo, just look at that. So stunning. So I'm going to do the unicorns look and she's going to do the mermaids. So I'm actually going to start with my base um, as usual <laughs> and um, I've also realised I've not even wet my beauty blender. I'm really not prepared and I never do get prepared until the very last minute which is quite silly really just bear with me one second okay i'm back finally <laughs> i never come prepared it's really quite a bad thing so um i'm taking basically i'm going to take my freedom um corrector palette as you can see here and i'm going to use this sort of salmony color in the bottom middle and I'm going to put that just under my eyes here. Get rid of the sort of black bags that are under there. I don't know what's been going on with my face lately. Like my eyes have been, like the bags in my eyes have just been terrible. I say I don't know what's going on, but sleep deprivation has occurred um, lately. And that's obviously what it is. I'm just going to. This is such the perfect colour for me. We're going to have a light issue, aren't we? So it's quite late. So um, I was meant to film so many videos and I may not get all of them done at this rate. But um, yeah, it's going to be every time I put my hand in front of my face, we're going to get an issue. So I'm so sorry about that. I'll try not to. Um, maybe if I just sort of sit here, maybe that would work. I'm just going to take the lilac colour and put that on the top of my eyes. Um, because I've got really brown lids. So I'm just going to take that on the top of my eyes. These are so creamy. Now they're meant to, I don't know if they're a dupe for the MAC one because I don't have the MAC ones. Um, and I probably will never have the MAC ones, but you know, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. My cheeks are looking a bit rosy, so I'm going to take some green just to cancel that out. I don't know whether you've used corrector palettes for this sort of thing before, but I think they work really well just before you apply your base. And then finally, my, um, where is it? Maybelline Fit Me Concealer that I'm trying to finish. I do believe that it's nearly finished. And I'm just going to put that like a V here. Right, I'm going to go and blend this off and put on my base which is this and I'll be back. 
So I have my base on. I'm going to pop on the eraser eye, which you will probably see in my a video before this, but I will have videoed it after. Um, my um, finished 10 by Christmas Eve because I want to get it done. I've had enough. Um, it's not the worst in the world or anything. It's just not the right colour for me. I'm finding more and more that the concealers are not the right colour for me. Or maybe they are. I just have a, an issue. It is, if anybody was wondering, it's quite a good concealer, um, but it's not my favourite concealer. I have to say, even though this is the wrong colour for me, this would be my favourite concealer. I think it's absolutely incredible. Creamy, stays for ages. I really love this, and the Maybelline Fit Me would be, if for anybody else who hasn't got a crap skin tone like me, it would be perfect. So I'm going to use my um, Ultra Contour Palette by... Ma Makeup Revolution, yeah, it is by me. Oh my goodness, I think I can see Pan. Oh, hyperventilate, oh my goodness. I don't want to, it's shocking. So I'm gonna take this sort of yellowy banana powdery stuff and I'm just gonna set my concealer with it. And the same with this side. And then I'm going to powder my face with my Java Rice Powder, which if you are a follower of my channel, you will know is my favourite setting powder. It's like an illuminating, um, tra but translucent powder. Um, it just, for me, takes down the shine, but doesn't leave you matte. It kind of gives you a glow. You can see it there. I love it. And then I'm going to take this middle shade here, the middle of the kind of trio, which I can sort of start to see pan on already. And I'm going to really carve out my cheekbones with it. But how I'm doing is I'm sort of going in a two, like a V here. They call it the three, but I don't, I have so much hair here that I just do the cheekbone and underneath, and then I just put a dab here and really blend it out. So that's how I do it. I say cheekbone, I don't have one, look. You can sort of see the shading, sort of. Um, same on this side. I probably do it a bit too much, but for the camera, you can't. You guys can't see it like I can. I've just, uh, focus this out oh my goodness whoops <laughs> now if you haven't ever contoured before I think it's worth trying it's really good fun having a play around to see if you can do it um, I am no expert in it whatsoever but I like to try I think I can see how you sort of do it but it doesn't mean I'm any good at it at all um, Sometimes I overdo it quite a lot. And I'm going to take the matte highlighter with the same brush because I love this brush. Um, I'm just going to take the matte highlighter just over my face. So beautiful. It's so nice. Um, I don't want to... I'm going to highlight my face with this where I don't want it to shine. I've noticed when I put highlight on my chin, it's just not very nice at all. Um, and then I'm going to take the actual highlighter the peachy highlighter which is stunning just over my cheeks just look at that I don't know whether you can see that but it is beautiful it's a shame about the lighting in here really excellent I'm going to be adding a bit more blush and highlighter later so I'll be back in two seconds I'm just going to spritz my face okay so on to the eyes I'm going to use my MAC Pro Paint Pot in painterly and I'm going to use a sponge tip applicator which I really rate for any of your bases or cream eyeshadows works so much better than anything else that I have um, this is a lovely base it just takes everything down to a neutral tone uh, 
and even though I've got a what do you call it on um, foundation base on this is just perfect for sort of around the eyes etc it almost brightens them up as well it's a really good one I still prefer my um, colour tattoos if they did a colour tattoo in this colour and it, like I would die I would absolutely die I'd be so happy and I would buy a billion of them because I love them okay so let's start I'll do one eye this time I'll do this first eye and then we'll go on to the next one so I'm going to take my freedom palette first because there are no light shades in there or base shades I'm literally going to take this shade at the end and I'm going to sweep that all over the eye that is all this is also going into my project pet 10 pan because I believe that I can probably finish it because I've used so much of it already I'm gutted but the palette itself is only um 250 so even for that color it's worth it i love this matte palette by frida makeup it's incredible right i know i just did both eyes but i am going to stick with one eye so i'm going to take which one i'm going to take first i'm going to take that lovely light purple shade and i'm going to put that all over the eye just look at the pigment and look at the fallout <laughs> Crikey. So this is like a matte shade with glitter in it rather than a shimmer shade. It's like matte with like glimmer in it, uh, glitter in it. Quite chunky glitter as well, actually. I just want to take this all over. These are so pigmented. I mean, I know I'm putting them over a base. I understand that, but seriously like they are incredible they are incredible um i just need to tidy that up and then i'm going to take a fluffier brush the end take that pinky tone that i showed you and i'm just going to work that into the crease Oh, this, this brush is a bit too um, easy to use. Does that make sense? Like, a bit too fluffy. That colour is lovely. I'm just going to work that into the crease. Blend in the other one. Okay, so I am taking the blue. This is unicorns after all, why not? I'm using a flat paddle brush and it is the... This blue here that I am taking, it's like, I don't even know how to describe this colour. Navy? Navy blue? I'm just putting that in this corner here just to mix it in with the purple a bit more can you see that blue now oh it's a stunning color actually a really beautiful color and then I'm going to take the darker navy blue and I'm just going to put that here on the edge and into the crease here, like the outer V. That is a gorgeous colour. That is so beautiful. I love that. They're so, so beautiful. This whole palette is one of the most incredible palettes I have ever seen. 
and I wasn't going to order it because I was like, when am I ever going to use those colours? Answer, most of the time actually. So I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out so that we're not, you know, all over the place here. Same with this side. This is a bit firmer than most um, blending brushes, so I wouldn't say it's more of an eraser, actually, because you can really blend stuff out and take away those harsh edges, which I just love. And I'm going to take the dark indigo colour. Where's that brush gone? Oh my, where is it? There it is. The real indigo colour, and I'm going to take that just under the eye. what I really like is the blues sort of gone down into the um, into here and it actually looks really pretty so I'm just going to take that and then go back in with the indigo and just go under the eye as close to the lash line as possible whether you can see this or not, I don't know. Sorry, guys. Oh, I love that. It's so weird. I would never, ever, ever, ever choose to do my eyes like this, ever. I'm going to take the um, Cajal pen, it says, uh, from Pop Cosmetics. I think I got this in a glossy box. And I'm just going to do my waterline. I never use black in my waterline normally. But I feel what this will do is make this colour stand out just that little bit more. Right, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, sorry, I thought I'd press pause again. Um, I'm going to use my mascara. I've just put a winged eyeliner on. It's just easier to do it by not doing it on camera. Um, and I'm just putting on my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm in love with this. I love, love, love this. You know what? Weirdly, I thought to myself, I'll never go out with this, but you know what? I would. Maybe not to work. But I totally go out. We've got the Curve Fashion Festival um, the day after you watch this. I'll be in Manchester with some girlfriends. And I'm thinking... You know what? This might be the look I go for. So if you're there, you may see that. Right. Last but not least, I'm going to use this palette for my blusher. And I'm going to take a very, whew, very pink blush. Place that on the cheeks. Just there. It's quite a fluffy brush, this, so... It, blends it out oh I say it blends it out but I look really red now and then I'm going to take the highlighter which is a purpley highlighter and really pop that on over so it gives me the sort of appearance of having a purple sheen which is very very cool I've just it, this looks really um pink that's better and then last but not least, of course, Lippy. And it is the Lip Lava in Shockwave. I sort of rediscovered this the other day. Oh, it looks pink on camera. It looks positively purple in real life. Anyway, 
that is the unicorn look that I have gone for. I'm going to put my glasses on because I have no idea what it looks like yet. Well, apart from what I see in the mirror. That is so cool. That lip is amazing. I love it. So I um, have finished. <laughs> what did you think? I'm sorry about the lighting. It has gone quite dark in here because, well, it's late now, I guess. And... Um, probably time for my bedtime soon because it's getting dark beautiful outside actually it looks really nice anyway um thank you for sticking with it and i look forward to seeing you in my next video oh before i go make sure you check out vicky's channel i'll link down the um her video down below and her channel and yeah give it a thumbs up if you want subscribe if you haven't already and yeah leave a comment down below see you next time